Hey everybody, and welcome to a brand new thing on the channel, and that is Half Past Fate. And I know what you're saying. What is all these colors? You never play such a colorful game such as this, such a cutesy game. I know, it's 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 something out of the blue, different. And, uh, you know, if it's not up to, you know, snuff, if we don't like it, we don't have to keep playing it. But I'm going to just keep throwing out new ideas every now and then and see what sticks. Uh, we have lots of other games going on right now on the channel, so I don't really want to to remove anything. I don't want to get rid of a series uh, before it's done, but I want to try out new things and see what works and see what doesn't work. And so if you like something, let me know. Give it a like. Give it a comment. Let me know what you like. If you don't like something, tell me that as well so I can tailor this kind of stuff to my audience because obviously that's what we're trying to do here is to build a community. So join that community be uh, be engaged with likes and comments and stuff and let me know. So this is Half Past Fate. It's sort of a, a, a cutesy kind of visual novel rom-com. I don't know. Apparently it's something that I might enjoy. So says the machine learning algorithms. So let's let's give it a go. Apparently you can use a you can use a a controller if you want but I'm gonna use keyboard keyboard and mouse but maybe just keyboard so 12 hours ago chapter one uh, is this us we are Rindon what is the name Rindon wish this traffic would move can't even jaywalk with all with jaywalk with it this clog. At least I didn't drive. I'd rather be a pedestrian in this traffic than a driver. There you go, it's walk sign, so we can walk. Cool. Cool, just when the light turned, traffic moved out of my way. I don't even have to jaywalk now. I can use WASD or the arrow keys to walk across the street. Well thank you for the introduction, Rendon. I always wondered what WAS stood for. Walk along street dude. Yeah, it's walk along street, dude. What happens if we just walk into traffic? I'm all turned around, and you go the other way across the street. I was trying to get you killed. I'm trying new things. Man, where's Cade? He's running late. Again. I better give him a call. You better. Also, um, why is there a cane just, uh, there on the ground? My phone is in my pocket. I can check my inventory by pressing tab. You don't know what a was dibs is, but you know what a tab is? Okay. Tab. There's my phone. I can press E to inspect it and find Cade's number. All right, E it is. I don't even remember my own number nowadays. Technology sure is neat. Anyway, now that I've found Cade's contact information, I can press tab again to close my inventory. There we go. We're done. Absolute genius. Morning, boss. Okay, so we are Cade's boss. Dude, where are you? Sorry, I'm running a tad late this morning. I'm almost there. Yeah? Where are you? I'm super close. I can almost see you. Ugh, we're gonna be late for the meeting. Yeah, I know. Sorry. I'll be there in a sec. I promise it's a really good reason. I doubt it. He says he's here. Oh, there he is. Across the street. There you are, Cade. Sorry, late start this morning. Every morning. Yeah, but I have a good excuse this time. Is it the girl you met at Spark? Nope. You called up your ex again? Come on, man. You have no faith. Guess again. It's half past eight. We have to get going. Just tell me. Okay, okay. Remember that girl who helped me get home after I twisted my ankle? Yeah. Last night was the second date. Congratulations, dude. I didn't think anyone would even go on a first date with you. Well, at least it's not a blind date. Hey, there's nothing wrong with online dating. Apparently that's a thing that Brendan is into, online dating. I love meeting people as much as the next guy. I just trust algorithms more. It's not nice to... It's nice not to feel like you're relying on chance. 
Okay, fine. So, are you excited for your algorithm date tonight, then? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Come on, let's get some coffee. We need to get going. Oh, let's see if Holland is working today. Uh, we must hate Holland. Uh, can I check on this cane there? Hey, young fellow. Yeah, me. You see that cane there? Would you mind picking it up for me? He was waving it around like a doofus, and it slipped out of his hand. Serves him right. I'm telling you, that movie is a classic. Yes, yes, but you don't need to wave your cane around to prove it. Anyway, dear, would you mind fetching that cane for this silly fool? Our ne knees aren't what they used to be. I would get my grandson to help, but he ran into some old friends near the bus stop over there. I reckon I ought to give them some space and let them connect for a while. Yeah, no problem. Happy to help. Just walk over to the cane. When you see the icon, press spacebar to pick it up. Must have been an energetic impression for the cane to end up way over here. I should give this back to the old man now. Tab. Tab. Cane. Well, let's look at it first. It's that old man's cane. I should give it to him. Yep, we're going to do that. We're going to uh, press the spacebar to give it to him. There we go. Thanks, Sonny. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, you two have a great day. I need to get myself some tea. Have a lovely day, dear. Tell me about that movie, though. I wonder how long they've been together. I hope I'm like them someday. No, but seriously. Tell me about that movie. You know, you remind me of myself when I was a young man. Really? Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Of course I do. Look at this handsome young go-getter. That doesn't remind you of me? Uh, thanks? You old coot. This young man is more handsome than you ever were. I mean the go-getter part. You off to some big important meeting today? Actually, yeah. I should probably get going. I'm already running late. Atta boy, go get him. Have a nice day, dear. Alright. Hello, weird dude. He seems to be really enjoying life. What do you got to say, weird dude? Let's not uh, rush to our meeting. There's no timer. As far as we know. Oh, I thought you were like shirtless, dude. I thought that thing on your chest was like some hair. But apparently it's a bird or something. You just happen to have a shirt that's the same color as your skin. Hey there, brother. You wouldn't happen to have any high-density polyethylene, would you? I do not have any recyclables, no. Poly what now? High-density polyethylene is a type of recyclable plastic, my dude. Like polypropylene. Too often nowadays, people are just throwing stuff away when they could be reused, you know? Oh yeah, the preaching of the choir. My investment firm is pretty much entirely centered on saving the environment. In fact, I have a meeting today with a tech startup we're looking to invest in. They have a product that they, they say can produce clean, efficient energy. Super excited. My dude, right on. Good to see big business getting in on some planet-saving action. We all got to do our part, from big corporations all the way down to individuals. Totally agree. You recycle often? I do, but, well, I probably should recycle more often. Like a sapling, we could start small and grow into something bigger. Just keep going at it, and you'll be a warrior in no time, my dude. Actually, can we just have a real talk right now about recycling? I know that's not what brings you to the channel, recycling talk, but... Recycling is great, but really, if you want to really do a bigger part than recycling, it's uh, reducing and reusing that's huge. Because a lot of times, what we recycle, especially with plastic, it's not being recycled right now. It's just really just being shipped off to a landfill because a lot of plastic recycling isn't being recycled by uh, places in Asia right now, and it's not profitable. To, uh, recycle here where I am in the Americas so um, reducing your plastic use is even better than trying to recycle your plastic use uh, okay let's let's just move on as a conscientious, conscientious participant in this experiment we call life on earth I give you a challenge to reduce your carbon footprint by recycling one object a day starting today I'll even give you a little reward for your trouble that's awesome I'll make sure to recycle if I see anything look at the bins. I don't have anything to recycle right now. Alright, yeah, let's go on. Hey guys, um, you been biking to work lately? They make a cute couple. Wish I had something like that, so I'm going to share my hobbies with. Maybe I should start biking. Good morning. Right back at ya. Did you guys bike here? Oh yeah, we bike here every day. Ever since we started dating, it's our morning routine. Nice to have someone you love to share your morning with. Yeah. That sounds great. Right. Well, I should probably get going before the line gets too long. Take care. Here we are. 
And here's uh, the old man's grandson is in here somewhere. I remember when I was a hipster, I was so cool. Wait, don't you stop being a hipster if you're cool? Or is it the other way around? Yeah, I'll get used to the buttons eventually. Hey, what's up? What's up? Seriously? Uh, what? No one says what's up anymore, old man. I'm not old. Look at that suit. Such a corporate stooge. You may not be in old years, be old in years, but you're old at heart, fam. Ah. You're the grandson of that old man. You just left him. He lost his cane and you weren't around to help. Yeesh, I was just saying hi. Weren't you just over there talking to the gramps? He was. Yeah, I was just helping. Gross, um, like, please leave my grandparents alone. My grandparents are some of the most amazing people ever. Yeah, they don't want what you're selling, stooge. Yeah, run along and rejoin your rat race. Wow, these kids are jerks. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. I couldn't leave until I've gotten my tea. Okay, tea, tea, tea. But we can interact with the bus stop. Something shiny on the ground here. Is it a recyclable? Whoa, someone left a half dollar coin. Right here on the ground. I think I'll leave this here for someone else to find. There you go. You're smart, man. You know that you own an investment firm or you're somehow important in an investment firm, so you don't need a half dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you may lose your job, like, tomorrow. It says push. Huh. Now he's about to look for something to pull. Isn't that against fire codes or something for those doors to open inwards? Anyway, I guess it's important to actually look at stuff sometimes. <laughs> Indeed. Look at stuff sometimes. It's a new trend that's going around. Wow, it's extra busy today. Of course, Fellini's is the best coffee in town. Hey look, Holland is working today. I'm telling you, you two would totally hit it off. You need to talk to her. You're still on about Holland? Of course, she is your dream girl after all. I said she's cute. One. Get her number, ask her out, you know. Cade, she's working. She doesn't want to be hit on while she's working. That's very true. Everyone, I was going to say guys, but you know, guys, girls, non-binary, don't hit on people when they're working. You know, a lot of times people try, they put on that persona of being friendly when they're working customer service. Being friendly doesn't mean they're into you. So don't take it that way and don't make it awkward when they're at work. I mean, you don't have to be a creep about it. Just go talk to her. Like a human. Talking is how people used to meet each other, you know? And for all these algorithms and the internet stuff. You said you were open to meeting people in real life as the next guy. You never know if you don't try. Fine, alright, I'll do it. Just to shut you up. I just told you, Rendon. Don't do it. Don't ask people out. On the job. What about this line, though? Well, if you're going to let that stop you, then I guess you don't deserve her. I mean, the line will finish. People will move on. They, it, Their coffee doesn't take forever to come out. We're not just, just going to bust in line to go try to hit up the barista. No, we're going to stand in line like a normal person. I need to find a way and get in front of this guy. Wait, this guy looks familiar. Does he? Don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, aren't you... Yeah, I'm Rendon. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's right. You're the guy who works at the video game store. Yup, and you're the business guy. Indeed, we are the business guy. Yeah, um, sure. So, did everything work out? Yeah, kind of. Did, did we give him a loan? That's awesome. Good for you. Okay, uh, look, this is going to sound terrible. Do you mind if I... Do you mind letting my friend and I cut in line? We're actually running late, and there's this huge meeting I need to prepare for? No problem. I'm not in a rush. I have a lot of time to kill. Wow, thanks. You have a lot of time to kill because your uh, video game store went bankrupt? Because we gave you a bad investment advice? What a coincidence running for that guy. If only getting everyone else out of line could be so easy. Well, I'm, it probably will be because this is the first part of the game. Tell me, though. Uh, tell me about why... What's going on with your your video game store. I feel like there's more information to be known here. Thanks for letting us get in line ahead of you. No worries. I'm sure you'll help someone else out in the future. Pay it forward. Hey, uh, big scary bro. Wow, that guy is huge. I have to get in front of him in line somehow if I want to talk to Holland before my meeting. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm running late. Do you mind if I... There's no way I'm letting you cut. I've been waiting for my tea for so long my feet hurt. Hmm. I think I'll have to resort to my famous friend and powers of persuasion if I want this guy to move. 
Tell him you're in a hurry. Tell him the TV here is bad. Never mind. Um. Like the, the tea, man? You don't want the tea. It's awful, dude. Hey, if you want tea, I'd go somewhere else. I heard it's really bad here. That's great news, man. Huh? I can't wait to taste their nasty tea. My tea business is gonna crush them. I can't wait to try it. Well, that did not work. Alright, um... Look, what are you getting, dude? What are you getting? I'm going for the plain black tea. That'll give me good data points for how good their tea is overall. So, you're reviewing the tea? I gotta see how my tea stacks up against theirs. I need to make sure the tea I sell is the apex of quality. I know what you mean. Taking pride in your work is really important. Delivering quality products is what makes me proud of my company as well. Right on, man. Being proud of what you do is what distinguishes the best from the rest. That's something a lot of people haven't learned. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, I tell you what. Because I like you, I'll leave and hit up this place tomorrow. That way you can get to the front and do whatever it is you need to do. Thank you, Jock. Come on, you look big and scary, but you're really a tea connoisseur. You, you break, you, you're subverting all my expectations and breaking the mold, dude. Thanks, I really appreciate it. All right, two down, like three more to go. What do we have here? If I want to talk to Holland, I need to get in front of this woman in line. Ugh, I already got my coffee, but I can't find the cream anywhere. Now I'm waiting in this stupid line a second time. They didn't have any cream at the counter? Maybe I'm afraid to check now because I don't want to lose my spot. Let me see if I can find some. Yeah, we can help you. Um, Cream, probably over here. There's some creamer here. Cool, I found some creamer. Yeah, see? It wasn't that hard. Hey, dude. How's it going? He's sitting quietly and sipping his tea. Hey, people. How's it going? She's deep in thought. I'm sure she is. Here you go. Uh... Here's the creamer I, I was going to get for you. I found some cream for you. Thank you so much. I've been here for forever. All right. Well, you can get out of line then. Oh, no. What's wrong? I've been in line so long my coffee is cold. Ugh. Well, thanks for your help anyways. You made my morning not completely terrible. How long of a line does it have to be for boiling hot coffee to become cold? I gotta run. I'm late to work. No problem. Yeah, me too. I'm late to work also, so please get out of line. Uh, hey sir. I need to get in front of this guy somehow. Dag Nabbit, is this line ever gonna get moving? Well, you're clearly a, a southern blue collar guy, Mr. Trucker. You can tell that right by your dialogue. I know, right? I parked my truck on the curb because I thought I'd be able to just run in here and get me some coffee. Oh, dang. My girlfriend's nearby and she could move it, but I can't call her because my darn phone's out of battery. Sheesh. Hope your truck doesn't get towed. You and me both. Well, here, um, you want to use me, use my uh, phone, sir? Here, you can use my phone. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, it's me. Some guy may let me borrow his phone. Can you check out the truck real quick? I'm worried it'll get towed. Thanks, sweetie. Love you, too. Ah, look, even the trucker has love. Unlike us. Because we're just a... a boring business guy. I feel so much better. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Ah, uh, sure. Glad I could help. You look like you're in a hurry. Here, take my spot in line. I'm not in a rush anymore. Thanks, man. I mean, you don't have to actually leave the whole line. You could just get behind me. Because now it doesn't look like you're in line at all, dude. Who is this chatty Kathy? Looks like she's having some kind of problem with Holland. You've been holding up this line the whole time. Hi. How's it going, Grace? Uh, it's a nice bunny you have on your shirt there, ma'am. Terrible. I've been holding up the line, and everyone was yelling at me. I just want some coffee, you know. I thought I had enough for this latte, but the listed price doesn't include tax. Let me guess, you need 50 cents, and I'll just go out in the street and get it for you. I'm sorry to ask, but do you happen to have any change? I waited in line for forever, and this morning is already the worst. I just want some coffee. I feel like I'm going to faint. Well, don't faint. Let me see if I can find some spare change. That would be amazing. Thanks, dear. Yeah, I'm going to go right outside and get it. It's right here. We already found it. Good thing we already found it, because I don't know what we... We probably would have been, like, really, uh... Really stumped. 
Well, some of the top dollar coin here. Normally, I'd leave this here for someone else. The current situation calls for desperate measures. Huh? Is it glued to the ground? <laughs> it's stuck to the ground. Did someone epoxy this to the pavement? It's these hipster kids. They're filming me and putting it on the uh, TikTok right now. Figures. I guess I'll have to keep looking. Maybe someone else around here has changed. Did you do this, guys? You again? Sup, stooge. Corporate stooge. Hey, um, got any change, dudes? I hate to ask, but do any of you happen to have any change? Sure, I'll give you change. Really? Of course. Oh, wait. There's just one problem. I'm gonna need something from you. What's that? Could you find me a time machine so I can travel way back to a time when people actually used physical coins? Really, man? What century are you from? No one carries change anymore. Everything is digital. Yeah, give the times. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Um... If we could recycle something. What about a creamer? Is that recyclable? I don't need this creamer anymore. I should probably put it back. Okay. Well, sure. We'll do that. Is there anything we can recycle? Oh, we can go in the bathroom? I don't need to use the restroom. I don't want to step into the back area. Anything recyclable around here? Maybe out back? Let's put the creamer back. I'll just put this back. There we go. Achievement unlocked. I, I take my coffee black. Hey, there it is. It's a bottle that we can then recycle, and the man will probably give us some money. Some of us a plastic bottle. We'll take it, dude. This ought to be recycled. There you go. Um, what about this cute bunny with the hobo bag? I'm sure that has a name. The bindle. Is that what it's called? Actually called a bindle? Uh, do I just answer my own question? You know, the stick with the with the bundle on it? What's this doing here? It looks like a plush rabbit. Maybe someone accidentally left it here. I should probably leave it. This bunny looks familiar, though. Now well, I'm curious. Maybe I should keep an eye out for more of these. Maybe you should. Is it reflectable? All right, let's go recycle. Is there a run button? <laughs> There's no run button. We just have to move at this leisurely pace. Hey, dude, found some recycling. Do I give it to you? I'll take that high-density polyethylene off your hands. Here you go, sir. Congratulations, my dude. You've helped save the Earth this day. Um, you said there was a reward? The reward is a contented spirit. But what about also 50 cents? Ha, huh, dude, I'll just pull your leg. You're a man of my word. Here's some change for your trouble. But seriously, dude, the true reward is that no matter what else happens today, you know you made the world just a little bit better. That's a day to be proud of. Thanks, man. That's good philosophy. Well, now we have the change. And while I'm here, I'll just look at the plants. The shrubbery has style. Does it? Okay. Here you go, ma'am. Here's your change. Uh, that's the wrong button. So many electronics are discarded every year. It's insane. Yeah. You don't think your phone needs to be upgraded all the time. I'm just doing my part. So you're a very conscientious business man. I got it. You don't have to beat me over the head, game. I get you. Recycling. Recycling's cool. Thank you very much. They really should include tax on the price. Yeah, they really should. Also, you have a bunny on your shirt? Is that your bunny out back? So that's eight twenty-eight with tax for a single latte. Here you go. Hello. What can I get for you? Hey, Holland. Well, there you go. That's what he says. Hey, Holland. Do do I know you? Ooh, it's a bad start, my dude. Bad start. She don't even know you. Uh, yeah. Um, he's a regular customer. Right. What can I grab for you today? Coffee. Black. The usual, please. She doesn't know your usual. Could you remind me what the usual is? I'll have a green tea. Awesome. That'll be seventeen seventy-six. One coffee and a green tea is eighteen bucks. Where do you guys live? Is this Portland? I bet this is Portland. Wow. Good thing this place is so good. Otherwise, I'd say that place's price is a ripoff. I mean, it's still probably a ripoff even if it's good. I'll have that out for you in a moment. Well, that went well. It did not go well, Cade. Did not go well at all, dude. Let's not talk about it. 
You have to actually try to talk to women if you want a girlfriend. Look, we tried. She didn't even know who she, we were. It's not our fault. I did try. Sure you did, buddy. At least you have that blind date tonight. Yeah. It's okay, Rindon. You'll find somebody. You just have to keep trying, I guess. Right. Oh, there's our tea and our coffee. Here you are. Thank you. Oh no. She forgot the tea bag. She forgot the tea bag. What? She just gave me a cup of hot water. Wow. And this is a secret plot because she wants to talk to us. And it's all a joke. She wants us to come back so she can have another chance to speak with us. I mean, that's totally it. That's gotta be it. Of course, obviously. She looks pretty busy. Busy. She probably just forgot. How could you forget you ordered tea and you just got water? Well, that's not just a forgetting. Right. I guess I'm waiting in line again. You go get ready for the meeting with Apple. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I'll get started on the budget and have you approve it before we head out. Sounds good. I'll see you at the office. Oh man, the line's so long again. Oh no! We splashed hot water all over Mara! Oh goodness! I'm so sorry! Oh, uh, My tea! It wasn't even tea, dude. It was hot water. Okay, Rendon. Beautiful girl. Like Kate said. Just try to talk to her. Hi, uh, well, this is a mess. Haha. <laughs> For her, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm in a big hurry. I, I just, sorry. I have to go. Ma'am, you didn't even get a drink. Well, that went well. Two for two. Great start to the morning. To top it all off, I'm soaked before a business meeting. I don't think I'll have time to change right now. I need to get the budget finished. Maybe I can borrow a shirt and change before the meeting? Are you alright, sir? Yes, Holland. Yeah, I'm fine. At least I put the creamer away before this happened. You're the one who took the creamer? I was wondering where, where it went. Well, thank you for returning it. At least I did one thing right this morning. For future reference, our creamers are for paying customers only. We are a paying customer! Now, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate it if you could stop dripping all over our floor. Holland, this is not very good customer service. Sorry, I was just on my way out. This is not my morning. This is definitely not our morning. Achievement unlocked T. Eight days ago. Chapter 2. So we're at the tea festival. This game really loves tea, man. The 6th annual tea festival, April 29th through May 1st. And here we have Anna. Or Anna. But, I don't know. Probably just gonna say Anna. Until someone tells me I'm completely wrong and because there's only one N, it's definitely Anna. Ugh. Wow. I can literally smell the festival. I thought it was supposed to be a tea festival. It smells like, I don't even know, but certainly not tea. Hey, Anna. Charlotte? Hey, girl, what's up? How's it going? Good, I guess. Are you volunteering again? I am. It's been exhausting. I've been running around all day. Every year, it's such a workout, especially this year. On the plus side, it's so much cheaper than a gym membership. Anyway, welcome to the Sunset Tea Sunset City Tea Festival. Here, have a pamphlet. What's up, girl? You been busy? I hardly gotten to see you since you left the tea shop. Ah, the tea shop. Yeah, I've been busy. I have the day off today, though. I figured I'd drop by the fair before it ends. I know you always used to come to this festival, but I'm still surprised to see you here. Missed the tea life, huh? Wish you hadn't quit. I didn't quit the tea life. I just got an internship. Besides, this isn't like real tea life. But you know, I figured I might learn something, get some new ideas. Doth my ears deceive me? Is Anna defying tradition? Not that shocking. Speaking of defying tradition, how's the internship going? It's at a bank or something? Is it at a? It's at Rendon's uh, investment corp. There you go. It's a marketing internship at an investment company. You learn any good marketing tricks? Not really. I've mostly learned how to take notes, send emails, follow around important people, and make coffee. Yo, that last one is super important. Sure, I don't know. I was just hoping to learn more about marketing. That's why I'm here, to do some research. 
I see, I see. Well, hey girl, don't let me keep you. Enjoy researching the festival. Just let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Charlotte. Oh, and Lost Valley Tea is here again? I know you like their stuff. Perfect. I'm almost out of my stash from last year. I'll have to pick up some more. Let's, uh... Check out this, uh... This pamphlet. Some has some vague topics and ideas about tea and tea culture. It's not very useful. It's for you to keep. I've got plenty. Oh, so we actually tried to get it back there. Hey guys, how's it going? She's explaining to her friend how Asian culture is called black tea, red tea. Put it in English. Red tea refers to rooibos. Yeah, what a... What a hipster. Hey dude, um... What you got there? It doesn't look like tea. It looks like ice cream. Is it frozen tea? What's better than ice cold iced tea on a hot summer day? A crazy cool tea snow cone. It's not just iced tea, it's tea ice. Well, you know what? Sounds interesting. I like iced tea as much as the next person, but I don't know if I can in good conscience consider this tea. Hey, dude. I wonder how many slushies have melted in his hand since he started running the booth this morning. Care to try our crazy cool tea? We've got the coldest iced tea in the nation. Sorry, I'm not really a fan of snow cones. So this is Lost Valley Tea. It's got a huge line, but we're probably supposed to go there, but let's check out everything else. Hey guys, what you got here? You got Leap Tea. She looks like she really enjoys running her booth. Hi there, what's your geekdom? We have something here for everyone. Would you like to try the Elixir of the Shrub People? Or maybe the Ceremonial Draft of the Space Knights? Uh, I'm not really into that sort of thing. Thank you though. Thank you for stopping by. We got the Probiobactea. So you, it's probi probiotic uh, tea, huh? It's got active culture, uh, bifidus regularis, and all that uh, that cool stuff that help you go poop. That uh, what Jamie Lee Curtis was promoting. Hi, the Probiobactea brand of kombucha. Ugh, kombucha. I hate that stuff myself. Hits t shelves next week. We're dedicated to brewing the healthiest kombucha. It exists in stores. Would you like to try a sample? No, thank you. No, don't do it, Anna. Sure. You, you'll barf it up. Wow, that's very strong. I love the flavors. Well, good for you, because I don't like them. Thank you. Uh, we got Matcha Madness, so we got some green tea. They must do pretty well. I mean, you'd have to be a terrible salesperson not to be able to move matcha off the shelves. It's probably my favorite booth here. Really? I thought you loved, uh, whatever lost, whatever tea. Would you care to try our matcha smoothie? Or perhaps a matcha cake? Do you happen to just have just matcha tea? Oh yes, of course. Here you go. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. And we've got some restrooms. Glad I don't have to use the bathrooms. Porta bodies are always so gross. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. We got an empty booth. It's interesting, um, no free samples here, just some nice imported tea sets. Of course they would, uh, strategically put the, the, uh, festival so that all the booths facing the front, uh, don't have anyone you can interact with. I mean, that's just a thing you do, of course. Is that the people in this booth are late or forgot to show up? The brochure says it was supposed to be a booth that sells tea sets for children. That's cute. Um, we got swole tea, so you got like creatine infused protein tea. Hey, you want to get jacked from just drinking tea? That's not really why I drink tea. Well, now it can be with swole tea. Yay. And what is this? This is tea something? Tea beans? Hi, would you like to try our tea, tea ca coffee? combines the best that tea and coffee have to offer. Yes, tea beans. Sounds, uh, unnecessary? Would you like to try a free sample? Sure, I guess. It's probably horrid. I can barely taste the tea. It just tastes like watered-down coffee. Uh, we have oxy tea, so you got some kind of, uh... Oh, I hear the bubbling. That's cool. Uh, so some oxygenated, like, antioxidant tea, or what? It's just tea-flavored oxygen? It sounds like a scam. 
you get tired of the hassle of having to brew, steep, and pour your tea? You wish you could have the joy of tea without having that tea taste in your mouth? No. What? No, that's literally the point of drinking tea. From the lush green world of freshness comes Oxy Tea, the next evolution of tea that energizes the body, excites the senses, and invigorates the spirit. Brimming with sparkling flavors, the scent harmoniously intertwines natural ingredients to form an uplifting, revitalizing, and balanced fragrance experience. No more spills, no more brewing, no more messy tea leaves. Oxy Tea is a tube of highly concentrated oxygen that's been infused with the aroma of tea. Get all the benefits of tea just by breathing in this tube. Plus, because you're breathing in this amazingly clean tea air through your nostrils, you don't get any of that nasty tea aftertaste in your mouth. I think I've read enough. Hey, I better not bother him. Sounds like he's on an important call. Looks like she's helping out this booth here. Uh, it's tea time. Um, like a time traveling tea? <laughs> Should, am I supposed to be going to this booth? Am I supposed to go to the tea time booth or this big one? The lost. Hey, wasn't there a line here a second ago? Okay. So we got Lost in Time, and we got Tea Time. Is it like the monster energy drinks of time? Or of tea? Look for a drink that's a sophisticated party animal in the same mouthful? But look no further than Tea Time. Tea Time, it's time for tea. Is it a monster energy drink thing? Hi. Would you like to learn more about Tea Time? Uh, sure. Well, you're in luck. You're looking at the future of parties and fun. Introducing Tea Time. The tea infused energy drink. Yep, it's monster. Uh, it works with any drink, any time. It gives you unlimited energy to party, but at the same time tells everyone I'm sophisticated and, and enjoy deep conversations. When mixed with different types of liquors, the delicious clear taste of matcha really brings out the smoothness and clarity of your drink. Whether you're mixing it with vodka for a fun Russian sweet tea, or gin for a sophisticated bookworm, you'll be having great conversations and hang loose with friends every time. Tea time, it's time for tea. Okay, just hand me the sample. Blech. It's not terrible for an energy drink, but it sure isn't tea. Tea time is an energy drink with a soothing tea flavor. If you say so. It's garbage. Cheap and unlocked. Solitary. For probably trying all the teas. Hey, wasn't there a line here earlier? At least I can count on Last Valley Tea to be here every year. Now there's some real tea. Good old Camellia Sinensis. Very high quality, too. Smells great, but I'll leave free samples to the newcomers. Hey, dude. Well, first of all, hey, dude in line. That we already, uh, we already talked about this. Come on. Wait, what's the difference between green tea and black tea again? Dude, it's literally so different. If you're at the tea festival and you're asking that question, why are you even here, dude? I've explained this to you already. Yeah, but I'm, like, still confused? Like, what's so confusing? Why are you here when you don't even know the basis of tea? Yeah, <laughs> duh. We already said that. I was just on my way to the game store, and I saw the festival going on, so I just thought, Hey, it's you! I didn't even recognize you, Jaren. You got out of line. For us. Well, we were Rindon, that is. You obviously are not refined enough to appreciate something as sophisticated as tea. Go back to your basement and play video games or something. Well, you know what? Now I feel bad for saying that he... What was he even doing here? Come on, man. Stop being so pretentious about your tea, dude. Hey, just because I play games in the basement doesn't make me unsophisticated. Do you have any more stupid questions, or are we done here? Jeez, can I just look around? I thought this was going to be free samples or something. Our samples are for real customers. For example, people who can actually tell the difference between green and black tea. Hey, what's your problem? Let the guy try some tea. This is a street fair for crying out loud. Why are you even here if you don't want new customers? Yeah. We only have a limited number of samples, and they are reserved for... Reserved for who? Tea snobs? Aw, oh, man, Anna. You're the best. Sure this guy doesn't know anything about anything, but... Hey! But at least he's curious. You should consider yourself lucky that you're attracting a new customer demographic. Yeah, lucky. I come here every year and buy Lost Valley Tea, but now I'm not sure I want to be associated with such a snobby elitist tea brand. You and your uneducated boyfriend can just leave my booth if it's if you're going to disrupt my business. He's not my... No, she's not. Please, leave. Well, hey, thanks for standing up for me. It's no problem. I just can't stand it when people act like snobs. 
I mean, it's hard enough getting people interested in the tea. And I mean, then there's the gatekeeping jerk, like that guy. Gate steeping? Oh yeah, you know, like, gatekeeping, but it's tea, so steeping? No, I, I got it. I, I don't know anything about anything. And even I know that's nerdy. Shut up. So, um, I actually don't know the difference between green tea and black tea. Is that something everyone's supposed to know? Well, I mean, I learned the difference when I was like five. Right. But hey, it's never too late to learn. Yeah, you have to learn, right? Yeah. So listen, I'm uh, I'm actually here to learn too, for research, kinda. I'm trying to find ways to get a wider demographic interested in tea. And you're, well, you're the perfect research subject. If you wouldn't mind, uh, I mean, not every person here is bad. There's a lot of really fascinating things about tea in the community. I hate for your first impression of tea culture to be that jerk, you know. So maybe we can walk around the festival together, and I can tell you more about tea. Uh, for my research, I mean. Well, just get right in there, Anna. Just get right in there. Uh, you better accept this, Jaren. Pretty girls aren't coming to your basement, dude. So, I mean, you don't have to or anything. Sorry, I just thought... I shouldn't have said research subject. That's weird. I'm sorry. What I meant was, uh... No, it's fine. That sounds awesome. I'd love to help. Really? Oh, cool. I just didn't expect to meet someone so nice and so, uh... So, uh, nice. I'm Anna. I'm Jaren. Nice to meet you. So, Jaren, let's properly introduce you to the wonderful world of tea. Awesome. I think of this brochure when I walked into this festival. Maybe we should follow the steps of learning about tea in here. Uh, right. Sure. Yeah. We can do that if you want. Sweet. Oh, so we actually have to do that thing? Oh, we got solitary by doing it by ourselves. Can I read the informational pamphlet? No, I cannot read the informational pamphlet. So, do we just go around and talk to everybody I've already talked to? Snow cone! It's not a real festival for our snow cones. Care to try a crazy cool tea? We got cold ice, blah, 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 blah. Sure, I love snow cones. Ooh. How is it, dude? This is surprisingly delicious. It's like a nice tea slushy. Anna, do you want to try one? No, thank you. I prefer my tea of the warm variety. Also, we've probably already tried one. I can't remember if we did. More for me! This booth is a little niche. Now this is my jam. Anna, look! They have Master Shard's medicinal filter from episode 12 of Adolescent Radioactive Samurai Lizards. This is so cool. Wow, they even have tea based on the passage from the Dreamlight in Yesterdays and Tomorrow? So you know your geek culture, sir. Gasp! What? A girl talked to you. That's what are you gasping about? Please tell me that's not it. The ceremonial draft of the Space Knights. Uh, what? Would you like to try a sample? Would I? Oh. Anna, you have to try this. This is exactly what you would imagine the ceremonial draft tastes like. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Wait, have you not seen the Chalice Quest Space Knight movie? Uh, I haven't seen any Space Knight movie. Gasp! Gasp! It's okay, it's okay. I guess Space Knights are, Knights are not for everyone. I'm sure we can find something here for you. Look around, see if you can recognize anything. Anything at all. Hmm. Yes, we're not a geek. Oh, uh, Crystal Warriors? I used to watch that as a kid. Ah, we have here a solid, a cordial of Silverlight Gem Mana. Oh, that was from, um, the episode where they go to the evil guy's mines or something? Yeah, the Mudlord. Right, Mudlord. Yep, I remember that. Wow, it really does taste like how I imagined the cordial, as a tea. Uh, that's impressive. I'll take one of each. That will be 8847. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll just take a box of the Space Knights draft. Ha, huh. all right, that's 849. Thank you, have a great day, enjoy your tea. Thank you. Wow, Anna, you were right. Tea can be really cool. This was not exactly what I meant. But sure, I'll take it. I'm glad you like it. And here we have kombucha. It's, it's utter trash. Please don't try it. This stuff is really good. Bacteria? Yeah, like bacteria. I'm not sure I like where this is going. You have to at least try it. Hi, the pro biobacteria, blah, 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 blah. We already talked about the whole thing about kombucha. What's kombucha? It's a fermented tea. It's gross, dude. It's really good kombucha. Thank you. 
It smells rank. Well, yeah, it's fermented. Just try it. It's a tad sour, but it's real good. Oh, it's awful, dude. Nope, nope, not a fan. Can't even pretend to like this. I guess it is an acquired taste. No way am I acquiring that taste. Me and you, Jared. Me and you. Together. We both believe that. Nope. Just nope. Well, here. Wash it down with some matcha. It's just Japanese green tea. Ceremonial green tea. There you go. Jaren, you have to try this. It's called matcha. It's just Japanese for ground tea. Ground tea? Don't all teas grow from the ground? No. Ground up into a powder, dude. You no, know I mean like grinding. Tea leaves that are ground up. Oh, I see. Anyways, you know how when fall rolls around and everyone gets obsessed with pumpkin and it starts going into everything and it's amazing? Well, that's how I feel about matcha, except all year round. Really? Is it that good? Care to try some matcha? I don't mind if I do. Oh. Well, what do you think? It's, uh, green. You hate it. It's not so, I mean, it has... Yeah, I hate it. That's okay. Matcha can be a little bitter. Don't worry. I'm sure there are other cool things around here to check out. Yeah, you'd probably like the, uh, freaking uh, monster energy drink. What about small tea? Do you want to get big, Garen? I'm not sure what to think of this food. I'm interested to know your opinion. I do wish it was a, I was in better shape. Well, let's give it a whirl. For research. Hey, you want to get jacked? Yeah, that sounds great. Here, try some. Oh. Do you feel swole yet? No, not really. My mouth just feels powdery. Well, I do need to say that it's a supplement. What does that mean? It means you still have to exercise too for it to work. What's the point of the tea then? It's a supplement, man. It supplements the workout. Hmm. And uh, here you have tea coffee. It's kind of crap, dude. It's actually real bad. Oof, tea coffee or coffee tea? I don't think it matters. Let's check it out. Hi, tea cup of combines the rich antioxidants with, of tea with the heart disease reducing properties of coffee. Well, really? Would you like to try a sample? Yes, please. Oh. What do you think? I like this a lot. Really? Because it's trash, dude. Still just tastes like coffee to me. Yeah, but it's healthier coffee. That's pretty rad. I drink coffee all the time and I always worry that I drink too much of it. This could totally make me feel better about drinking coffee. Huh, I guess that makes sense. So it's not coffee for tea drinkers like me? It's more of a tea for coffee drinkers? Like me, yeah. Exactly. This product is to let coffee drinkers enjoy the health benefits of tea while still being able to enjoy the taste of their favorite beverage. I didn't know tea was so healthy. Tea is actually known to have a lot of health benefits. It can help reduce the risk of heart attacks and stroke, help boost your immune system, prevent bone density loss, and can soothe your digestive system. Wow, you sure know tea? sound like an encyclopedia, but in a good way. Shut up. Anyways, I'm sold. This stuff sounds great. Thank you. We hit the shelves in a couple months. Awesome. I'll keep an eye out. Alright, a couple more things to do, and then we'll probably be wrapping up this episode fairly soon. Here, want to sniff some coffee, or some tea-flavored oxygen? Oxy-tea? This sounds cool. Trust me, it's not. Oh, come on. Let's at least look. Do you get tired of the hassle of having to brew, steep, and pour your tea? Uh, I don't know. I haven't made tea before. Do you wish you could have the joy of tea without having to tolerate the tea taste in your mouth? Wait, do people who drink tea actually not like the taste? No. Would you like to try a sample? Sure, I guess. Breeds. What's the verdict? Well, it smells like tea? I don't know. This seems just like scented air. I'm pretty sure that's all it is. Come on, there are better things we could be doing. Yeah, come on, dude. You can try the Monster Energy Drinks of Teas. So what do you think about a tea energy drink? That sounds great. I know they aren't the best for you, but I drink energy drinks all the time. Let's give it a go. Hi, you're looking at the future of parties and fun, introducing tea time, the tea infused energy drink. Would you like to try some tea time and experience true energy and sophistication perfect for any situation? Sure. Tea time. It's time for tea. Oh. So what's the verdict? Hey, not bad. Definitely a lot smoother than most energy drinks. Although I kind of prefer ones with a harder bite, like a ghoul. Haha, <laughs> monster ghoul. Time is also much healthier than your typical energy drink. This is great. I'll have to keep an eye out next time I'm buying energy drinks. Well, I think we visited every booth. Really? That was fast. Can I walk you out? Of course. I don't think there's much else to see, but we can wander around a little more before we hit the exit. 
So can I uh, can I save quit the game? Maybe I should continue off to the next part. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've seen everything, dude. Other than these just hipsters standing around. Yep, we've seen everything. So uh, we'll leave and see if that takes us to the next scene of the game. I don't know how it saves, if there's specific saving points or what, but here we're, we're done, Jaren. Well, thanks for showing me around. I didn't know there were so many things to know about tea. I still don't know the difference between black tea and green tea, though. Oh, it's simple. Black tea is oxidized by exposing the, exposing the enzymes in the cells to oxygen, which allows a reaction to create that deep flavor. The enzymes in the cells are exposed by a variety of methods, so a favorite is to simply tumble them in. You leave the tea out to get old in an airy place. You don't with green tea. Excellent. I'm so tea smart now. I don't know, though. I kind of still just enjoy my store-bought generic tea. That's fine. Not everyone can have a fine taste such as mine. Are you sure you're not a snob, too? Hey. Well, jokes aside, I have to get going. I have a bunch of errands I need to run today. Oh, before you go. Listen, um, I had a lot of fun today. More fun than I ever thought I'd have at a random tea festival. And you're, like, really cool for hanging out with me. So I was wondering, I don't know if you're local, but there's a cool game store I work at. If you're ever bored, I could maybe return the favor and take you through some really cool games. So I was thinking, if I could maybe have your number? Yeah, totally. I had a lot of fun too. Here. It's my work cell. Wow, neat. It was great meeting you, Jaren. You too. The game store sounds like a lot of fun. I'm excited to go check it out. Call me. I will. Bye. Alright, way to go, Jaren. And I guess way to go, Anna, too. Because she seemed pretty into it. Oh no! My stupid sweaty palm smushed her number! Go chase her down, dude! Of course, she's long gone. Ah, uh, nice job, Jaren. What am I supposed to do now? Achievement unlocked. Synced. Eight and a half years ago. So, now chapter three. Eight years and six months ago. So that's back in time? Yeah, because we were eight days ago. Before, right? Now we're eight years ago? Is that how that worked? Or, or have I just completely forgotten things? Who is this? Who is this with the hair? It's Bia. Well, um, I think it's a good time to try to end. We'll end on Bia. So... I had... I, seem, I think I had fun with this game. Um, it's definitely different. It's a lot of talking, but so was Disco Elysium. Um... It's a lot of talk about tea. It's got a lot of, uh, like I said, rom-com tropes. It's definitely about about love and simple simple things, not like uh, like some other games you play. But it was fun. So if you liked it, let me know. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. And so I can help to tailor things to the audience. But thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see you again next time.